Alright, right, Shmees. Well, how are you supposed to talk when you got a toothbrush in your mouth? So we're just leaving the, uh, the Halifax Harbor Front boardwalk thing area walkway. Spent a couple hours walking around there, eh? Um, did we get anything to eat there? No. We uh, we stopped in and got a beer though. That was pretty good. It's pretty hot outside for not being the sunniest of days. It's quite muggy though. Um, oh, look at that massive cruise ship right next to us. Mm. We're about to leave here and take the drive up the coast to Lunenburg. We had lots of people recommending that to us, so that's what we're going to do. Then we're going to head to Peggy's Cove for golden hour and sunset, see if we can take a decent photo of uh, an iconic spot on the Maritimes. Although I guess that all depends on if Emily ever finishes brushing her teeth. Wish me luck. Peggy's Cove. We uh, got here for sunset but the light is pretty flat because it's completely overcast. Uh, there's a lot of people here so that's unfortunate but kind of expected. Pretty awesome spot though. Uh, walked around a little bit trying to find the uh, composition. Found this one here. Here's my camera. Um, the way it's set up, all these cracks, you know, rocks there are all pointing towards the lighthouse. So I kind of like that feature that they're all acting as leading lines right to the subject. Here's the back of my camera, so you can see a vertical composition again because that's just how I like it. Uh, my eye just kind of naturally gravitates to vertical landscapes. Um, yeah, it would be really nice if there was some light or some color in the sky, some light hitting the lighthouse, but whatever. Who knows when I'm going to be here again, so might as well take a photo. Sure enough, just as I set up my camera and started taking photos, I had a composition vulture come and literally stand right next to me, just so you can see. There's Emily where I was. And there's that guy stealing my shot. Whatever. I'm gonna take some photos. Might uh, try some neutral density filters or some uh, polarizers. We'll see if anything good happens. Um, and whatever I end up with, I'll put it up right here.
Welsh means we just left Peggy's Cove. Cool spot. It's definitely a cool spot. So we are gonna leave here and go to the nearest Walmart to try and buy some cushions for our sleeping situation in this car. We're gonna try it again. Try to make it a little bit more comfortable tonight. Um, I'm into like the one person's heads there, the other person's heads here. Yeah, okay. we're gonna sleep head to toe in the back rather than one person in the back and one person in the front seat. Um, yeah, so we're going to do that. Then we're going to maybe come back here at Peggy's Cove and sleep here and then try to see if we can get lucky with some light at sunrise to take some photos again. Uh, fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we'll see what tomorrow brings. Yep. It says here that people do sleep at the visitor center. Perfect. And that's what we shall do. Ready to get out of here, Memer? Before it gets too dark out. Yeah. Okay. You gonna give me a piece? Scissors! Stop, it's inappropriate. Good morning. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. We are back at Peggy's Cove. You got a little shmermily behind me. How you feeling, shmurs? She says she's too tired to be doing this. We had another less than stellar sleep in the car last night at the parking lot here at Peggy's Cove. Uh, it was a lot better than the first night, well at least for me, but it was still not great. But we uh, were at Peggy's Cove for sunrise. It's uh, quite cloudy today, so again, Hopes are not high, but we're here anyways, trying to make the best of it. Um, I've got this this little puddle here that's in the rocks that I'm shooting. I'll let you see what it looks like here. So here we are. There's the lighthouse. There's all the rocks going on. We got this little puddle that's, I don't know, maybe five feet long, but it provides a nice reflection. So that's what we're working on. Hopefully these clouds break up a little bit and we get a little bit of light. Um, yeah, I'll show you what it looks like on the back of the screen because it's a vertical. That's what we're looking at. I wish these grass, this little grass bush wasn't here, but what can you do? So we're going to take some photos of this. Um, maybe throw a uh, neutral density filter on there just to smooth out the puddle. It's a little bit windy here. Um, yeah. Throw it up here next. Okay. Murmuler. Yeah. We're gonna go get some showers, mm -hmm. maybe a hot drink, some hot food, I'm maybe not hungry. maybe I'm a nap. So stuffed. Yeah. I think we should take showers. I think we should get tea, and coffee, take showers, and then go to Digsby and get scallops. Okie dokie. And then we can just stay there for the day, and then I guess we'll probably have to head out tomorrow. Okay. Peace out. Uh, trying to... Whatever. See you tomorrow.
are at King of Donaire. On uh, what street is this? Oxford, Quinpole, at that intersection, I guess. We got ourselves a regular Donaire and some garlic fingers, because everyone talks about garlic fingers. And then it's more than just cheesy bread, but it looks like cheesy bread to me with some pretty tasty sauce. You're gonna have a, a bite of the old shawarma sh or donair schmeezer. Pose for a picture. There you go. How is it? First thoughts. Does it taste like shawarma? Nothing at all like it? No. Okay. Pleased. Very, very good. Crispy onions, and then there's tomatoes and the garlic sauce, and I think that's it. But the meat is like a weird, crispy, beefy mystery thing. Mm. Mm. All right. I like it. Okie dokie. Looks, I'm gonna make a mess it's of my not face. That messy. No, well, I somehow am a messy eater. Yeah, that's pretty tasty. It's like a moist beef jerky mm -hmm. in a wrap. I want to get some with like the stuff inside though. Yours is big. Yeah, I'm a fan. That's good stuff. All right, Schneez, we just left the Donair place. Yeah, sure, put it in park. How did you feel about King of Donaire? It was divine. Divine? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was so good. It was way better than I anticipated because I'm usually not in, like, it doesn't scream Emily. No. But, oh man, the only reason why I wasn't skeeved out by the sauce is I knew that it was garlic heavy. So I was like, okay, I'll do it. And I just dived right in and. Mm. Dove. I dived in hard, and it was really good. Yeah, I enjoyed it too. <laughs> uh, it, like I said, it was it basically just tastes like beef jerky, but like moist. Mm -hmm. um, I like the raw onion, tomato. Yeah, when you were able to get a bite that had more than just the actual meat, it was a lot better. But most of my bites were just meat. Mm. Um, I don't know if that's I don't know what that's all about, but heavy on the meat on that one I guess. Yeah, yeah. But it was good. I would definitely eat a Donaire again at some point in my life. What would you give it out of 10? Out of 10? I would give it like a... Like we're talking 10 is the best food I've ever had in my life. Just 10 out of 10. Well, it's hard to rate. Uh, I don't know, like like a six and a half. What? 6.75 maybe. Are you joking? For me, 12 out of 10. What? <laughs> You're crazy. I loved it. Like it was better than lasagna? No, I just mean like a lasagna can be 12 out of 10 too. Okay, so. But like for the experience, for the freshness, like the meat was greasy and salty, yet, oh, I just loved it. Like I'd still. Don't know what else to say. I'd still, if you. <clears throat> If we were walking down the street and we were hungry and there was a Donair place on one side of the street and a shawarma place on the other side of the street, I'm I'm crossing over and getting the shawarma. Where 100%. I stay on that and get Donair. Meet you in the middle. Oh, and then we get run over. Mm -hmm. What'd you think of your, uh, I keep wanting to say Vancouver, Halifax YMCA experience today? It was fine. It was clean. It had a sauna and a steam room, so that was nice. Did you use them? 
No, I didn't bring my bathing suit. You don't need a bathing suit to use the sauna and the steam room. You just go in naked or wrap a towel around you. That's not for me. You're missing out on some wonderful self-care experiences. Did you like it? Yeah, I loved it. It's by far and away the best Y we've been to in Canada. Like it's, it's still not better than the one in Vancouver because they had a hot tub that I went in. They actually had... Well, I went in a hot tub. I didn't have a hot tub. There's a hot See, tub. Again, male versus no, female. No, 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 no. The hot tub was downstairs in the pool area. You had to go down there. That I certainly couldn't do, but maybe Right. No, no, probably not. But in Vancouver, the hot tub was in the change room. Yeah. Sometimes they're in the change room. Sometimes they're... Like co-ed. Well, and it says that they were going to have body care products, like moisturizer and stuff, and they did not right. have any they of it. Right, they did not have that. But and they didn't have shampoo, so I had to wash my hair with body wash. And, like, if I thought, like, it's straw. It's, it is straw. Well, it looks nice on the camera. Okay. It's... Yeah, it looks better than it's looked in weeks. Doesn't stop you. <laughs> Doesn't stop me what? Um, yeah, no, the, the, the Y, the change room here was fantastic. Like, uh, everything was clean and new and not broken. Steam room was awesome. Sauna, I didn't use it, but it looked great. There was tons of showers, all individual with doors mm -hmm. instead of just shower curtains. Mm -hmm. Um, really good pressure. Really good pressure. Uh, yeah, they had the, the shower was awesome. Sure. They had the lounge area with the chairs and the TV. Mm -hmm. They had a coffee maker. Mm -hmm. I, uh, yeah, I took advantage of all of it except for the sauna. How many coffees did you pound? In I just had one coffee. One coffee while I was relaxing after my shower. Drying off, air dry. I used, I went to the steam room. Then I had a little shower, clean off. Then I went downstairs into the hot tub for a little while. Then I came back upstairs and showered, dried off, had a coffee, and sat in the lounge and watched the news while I was air drying. You're such an old man. It's such a nice ritual experience. You got to dry off anyways. You might as well do it while being uh, entertained and have a nice hot cup of joe. So we're off to get... Uh, should we release some donuts now? No, just one. Okay. My pants are starting not to fit. Okay. And then we're going to hit up uh, Digby. Yeah. Up in the Bay of Fundy. Anything else to say, Schmies? We're going to have scallops for dinner if we can stuff it into our gullets. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I can stuff it into my gullets. All right. Okay. Um... Yeah. Um, Halifax, you've been a blast. I like you. Aww. I would come back here for an extended stay. Mm -hmm. Me too. Yeah. I, I wish we had enough time to go up to that uh, Cabot Trail. That seems like it's pretty awesome. But uh, not today. We'll have to come back and make an extended um, maritime trip sometime we still have to go to Newfoundland, yeah right? when we can get into the <clears throat> Newfoundland and PEI spend some more time in like northern Nova Scotia I have no interest in New Brunswick I don't know about you well it's boring it, as hell the drive through it was quite boring it was like nothing there uh, I, everyone yeah. still speaks French even yeah even you might like have to cut that out that's pretty rude <laughs> I've never really heard of anybody like hyping up New Brunswick for anything no. so when we come back to the Maritimes, we can just skip over that. And well, we can fly and rent a car. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Let's go get some donuts, or don donuts, and uh, peace out of this town. Are you going to get a donut? Oh, well, I don't know. We'll see what happens. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Later. Donut time, Schmermeler. Yeah. What kind of donut did you get? Strawberry cream. Strawberry cream. And what was the name of this donut place? Mm.
Vandal Donuts. Vandal Donuts. It's like your classic, classic, like cartoon donut. What does that mean, cartoon donut? Like, if in cartoons, if they had donuts, this is what it would look like. Okay. Just oh. a classic fried. Like, it kind of tastes like a Tim Hortons donut. Oh, so that's not a good review. It tastes like a Tim Hortons donut. Well, it is. I'll never pass up a Timmy's donut. I'm, but. Mm. So, how does it compare to Ritual Donuts in Calgary? doesn't compare doesn't compare that's you all you need put to know it on the same spectrum that's all you need to know what was the name of that coffee place pipes cabin coffee so how is your tea from that it's actually very good horrendously horrible place it's, it's a good, good tea it's a good cup of tea okay i got myself a iced latte which is quite good and I got myself a raspberry scone because we all know scones are my jam. Take a look at this bad boy. Ba 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 boom. How do I show it? There it is. Look at that sucker. Time to eat it. Mmm, dry. Mmm, delicious. Mmm, jealous. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna put this away and get Emily to feed it to me while we're driving up to Digby. Alright, see you guys.